Last week, the jobs report came out, and it was weaker than expected. Big shocker. They thought when stimulus ended that everyone would just rush back to work. Well, people learned how to either survive with less or survive in the gig economy. People aren't interested in going back to nine to five. In fact, there are over a million job openings out in the United States right now, and no one wants to take them. Restaurants can't find people. Service jobs are available everywhere. That's why the transportation industry is suffering. People do not want to go back to work. And while the jobs report is really miserable, to tell you the truth, what else is happening? Oil prices are rising. $80 a barrel, and I expect we're going to see oil over $100 a barrel soon. On top of that, bond prices are falling as the yields are up and inflation is soaring. So what's the Fed going to do? Are they going to raise interest rates while the economy gets choked on higher oil prices? Probably not. They're probably going to have to add even more money in. But if they don't tighten up and raise interest rates, what's going to happen to inflation? High oil prices with bad jobs numbers with inflation and bonds falling equals stagflation. We've reported about this before, and this is what happened in the 70s when we hit double-digit inflation and interest rates at 21%. So where are we heading today? It seems to me that inflation and low interest rates are the new normal, that the Fed doesn't have any move to make, and that we are going to see a progressive economic hardship on retirees happening as we go through 2022, 2023, and so on. It's really time for you to stay tuned with all the economic data so that you can understand what's happening and how it's going to affect you. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to keep you informed.